Hey, hey, every now and then I publish a product video. I only do this if I find the product interesting or useful and if it can be integrated with Home Assistant, for example. ZemiSmart sent me their Smart Super Curtain Robot Motors, and I must say, they are super easy to install on your existing curtains. In addition, they can now be integrated into Home Assistant with some manual work. Let's take a closer look at them. Before I start with this video, I would like to inform you that I'm not getting paid for this video. In the description of this video are links to where you can buy this curtain motor. I've been sent three packages. One curtain motor for curtains. One curtain motor for roll-up lines. And one smart Zigbee hub. In this video, I show you the curtain motor for curtains in detail because I don't have roller blinds in my house. Let's see what's in the box. When we open the box, you will first find an English manual, which is handy because we talk English. Next to that, you will also find two USB cables to charge your curtain motor. There's no adapter in the box, so you will have to use one you have lying around somewhere. Then there is the curtain motor itself, which feels very sturdy and heavy. I'll go into more detail about this curtain motor later. The curtain motor also works with HomeKit and the Tuya app. In this video I will show you how it works with the Tuya app, but pairing it with HomeKit shouldn't be a problem. In addition to the curtain motor, a remote control is also included with which you can operate the curtain motor if you do not want to operate it via an app or a home assistant. And then there are several connectors in the box with which you can connect the curtain motor to different types of curtain rails. In this video I show you how to connect the curtain motor to a curtain rod, but you can use the other connectors for different types of curtain tracks such as U-rail and I-rail curtain tracks. Would this work with your curtain rails? Let me know in the comments. The curtain motor has three buttons that allow you to open, close and stop the curtains from opening or closing. At the bottom of the curtain motor you will find the connection point for the micro USB cable and the button to turn the curtain motor on and off and a button to pair the curtain motor with a Zigbee hub or the supplied remote control. When you want to open or close the curtains, a rubber reel at the top turns along the curtain reel and with that the curtain motor moves along the curtain reel. As you can see the wheel spins as soon as I press the open and close buttons. Let's connect the connecting arms for the curtain rod and see how the curtain motor moves along the curtain rod. You can simply press the connecting arms into the curtain motor and you can adjust the rubber curtain wheel tightly against the tube because the connectors are equipped with a coil spring. This allows the curtain motor to move the curtain properly along the curtain rails. If you want to remove the arms, you can do that with a small screwdriver that comes in the box. As you can see, the curtain motor runs nicely back and forth along the curtain rod. So now it's opening the curtain and now it is closing the curtain. I have now connected the curtain motor to my curtain and as you can see the curtain motor takes the curtain along nicely. This can be operated with the remote control, the Tuya app. HomeKit or Home Assistant. By the way, if my videos help you and if you want to keep up to date with my tutorials and not miss anything to increase your knowledge of Home Assistant and Smart Home, subscribe to my channel and tick the notification bell. It also helps if you drop a comment. This way more people will be notified about my videos. Oh, and don't forget to click the thumbs up button for this video. This allows me to create more tutorials for you. Thank you. In addition to this curtain motor, I was also sent a curtain motor for a roll-up blind with which you can operate the bead chain. This curtain motor is of the same sturdy quality as the other curtain motor. There are different types of gears supplied with this curtain motor so that you can choose the right gear for your bead chain of your roll-up blind. 
Furthermore, it works in exactly the same way as the other curtain motor. The remote control has a number of buttons. There is an open and close button on the remote control and a button to stop opening or closing. In addition, the remote control has three buttons to open the curtains at 20%, 50% or 80%. The limits for open and closed can be set in the Tuya app. To use the app you need to connect the curtain motor to the Zemi Smart Zigbee Hub or any other Tuya Zigbee Hub. But if you want to use this curtain motor with Home Assistant, you can also use a Zigbee stick such as the Sonoff or Combi 2 stick. With the Tuya app you can set the limits for opening or closing the curtains and you can open or close the curtains remotely. At the time of recording this video, this curtain motor was not yet well supported by the Tuya integration in Home Assistant, nor by local Tuya ZHA or Zigbee 2MQTT. Still, I managed to get it to work in Zigbee 2MQTT by creating an external converter. This thread on GitHub helped me a lot with that. See the link in the description of this video. I expect this curtain motor to be supported by Zigbee2MQTT in the near future, but if you want to get it working in Home Assistant right now, you have to do the following. Open the configuration.yaml file from Zigbee2MQTT, not from Home Assistant. Add the following lines. Then create a file called ts0601.js and place that file in the same folder where your zigbee2mqtt configuration.yaml is located. Put the following code in that file. You can also find this code on my GitHub page. Look in the description below for the link. Once you've done this, restart zigbee2mqtt and add the curtain motor to zigbee2mqtt and give it a readable name like curtain. You will see that it's now recognized. The battery status is not yet properly communicated, but it does not matter for operation. Now you go to Home Assistant, and when you request the entity you will see that the controls for your curtain are available and working. I must say that I was pleasantly surprised by this curtain motor. It can be installed very quickly on your existing curtain rails, and you can use it in Home Assistant, which I personally like very much. The latter is actually necessary to solve the biggest problem of this motor. If you have two curtains that both open or close at the same time, you need two motors that open and close at the same time. I've not found an option in the Tuya app to realize this, but with Home Assistant you could of course make an automation or script that does that perfectly for you. I hope this video has been of some use to you. Please let me know in the comments what curtain motor you use or if this is the curtain motor that you want to buy. Your support allows me to make new videos all the time. You can support me by becoming my patron, buying me a cup of coffee or joining this channel. The links for this can be found in the description of this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and check the notification bell. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye!